All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan, and uh, I'm actually kind of in a rush. Even though I woke up really early today, like for some reason I got like super tired. I had Burger King, yeah. and then uh, I don't know, went to bed really early and woke up really early. It was great. And uh, let's put this over here. Actually, uh, everything looks pretty good in EQ. Um, hold on. Uh, yeah. Send, um, oh, let's put this over here. So, yeah, I just didn't do any research, but I kind of want to. I also was watching XQC play Town of Salem. It's like way more entertaining. So, I definitely want to watch. I actually stopped right before the conclusion. So, I, I, I'm really excited to see what's going to happen. So, I'm going to do this real fast. Um, yeah, so Bitcoin searches for this week have dropped precipitously. Let's see, 24 hour volume is. Wow. So Coin Gecko says there's more 24-hour volume. This, maybe this thing is wrong. No, it's actually correct. Yeah, 24-hour volume is higher on Coin Gecko. That's a first. Bitcoin Dallas is at 56.66 percent. 24-hour volume is 106.6 billion. So that's good. Uh, and now I see prices going back up. So yeah, after going all the way down, so it's going back up. So that's what we want. 11,453. Litecoin's at 58.35. Doggy coin 414.13 million market cap. So doing pretty well actually. It's doing pretty well. Uh, that being said, I am seeing a notice uh, increase in trade activity too on Crex. So let's see. So markets are up quite a lot. Available to target higher inflation. Well, I think for the same amount, it'll tolerate inflation already above its 2%. Uh, okay, so everyone is pretty happy about whatever this is. Uh, Remmel's up. Yeah, so everything's actually going up. Okay. Uh, young trader. All right, I don't want to read any of this other stuff. I kind of already know. GMC's at six to seven. Uh, yeah, and it's going back up. Uh, 404 is at 61 to 64, doing very well. Uh, well, Kateri hasn't dropped yet, again. 2x2 two two is at 21 to 23, so this is doing uh, okay. Rex continues to slide, now it's at 17 to 18. Because again, I don't know where the hell Mitch is. But I think he's just abandoned. Uh, a lot of buying activity for 100 coins. So I honestly think it should be way higher. But I mean, until I get the uh, enough money to list on Ore coin games, um, I think this will continue to lag a little bit, so... Uh, we'll see where this is. Like, there's a lot of 100 coin to, to, to dump. Uh, you know, so like, what, 71,889? None of this is mine. You know, I'm actually selling very little now. So, because now that the pressure's off, you know. Uh, oh, I gotta open up Speedcoin, too, because now we have that listed. Uh, where is it? So, we'll open that up. And Speedcoin finally got listed. So, I'm gonna try to say I get, you know, my money back, of course, for all the stuff I'm doing with Speedcoin. Uh, of course, there's very little being minted, so just very little. So I'll see what happens with the. I think I said it. This is like my order here, obviously. So it's like four thousand satoshis of Bitcoin. Um, so you know, because I because when I when I came up one hundred coin, I think I sold the initial ones for like a couple thousand satoshis of Bitcoin. Not a whole lot, but you know, some. And I'm not going to do a staking pool yet. So you know, people who buy it are going to have to stake it in their own wallet. So we'll see how it goes. So I'm just going to leave that there. Uh, let me see. Uh, yes. Yeah, and somebody was spamming me. All right, nothing here. Nothing down here. All right, very good, very good. Uh, not a robot. Let's see. Luckily, I don't have to worry about it because obviously I'm on a proxy. So obviously, I don't care. Yes, I am pretending to be in Australia and Sydney, which is completely not where I am at all. Uh, Bitcoin drops, squeeze. Uh, you know, I don't want that to keep showing up because maybe one day the proxy will go and I'll show my real IP. So let's just do this. Bitcoin drop squeezes out derivatives position. That may be a good thing. Bitcoin brace for inflation bombshell. We're going to stock exchange replace. Uh, okay. 
Thanks an estimate, so you can put a power Bitcoin mining. Oh wow, that's a lot. Well, we're definitely gonna have to go nuclear, that's for sure. All right, so it looks like there's nothing of note here. Um, richest cryptos refuse to sell. Yeah, there's not no real point in selling. Uh, huge update of demand for Bitcoin crypto over the past four weeks. Well, all right, we'll take a look at that. But what, like, if that's okay, I mean, I don't think they're lying. But if that's true. Then why the hell is this number so bad? Like, you know. So hopefully, hopefully this is a little laggy. And then that means everything will just keep going up. So, because it does seem like this uh, Federal Reserve thing is really kind of making everyone nervous. And now that we're going to read it, you know, it's like people are now reassured. So, Trump's uh, climbing back in again uh, because, uh, whatchamacallit, the riots are really getting out of control here in America. So, and people are starting to get really mad about it. And Trump's starting to finally, like, dig in. I'm not even going to look at this because I know he already tweeted some stuff about the riots. So, he's already. Uh, Wisconsin has already asked for the National Guard, so they're already deploying them there. Jackson Hole of Fed Trail unveils the effort to target moderately higher inflation. And this is live. Okay. Federal Reserve unveiled a new framework of thinking for the central bank will target inflation moderately above its 2% target. The Fed also committed to reading this policy every five years. Runaway inflation in 1970 warned that persistence of low inflation over the last eight years risks new economic difficulties. Yeah, people need to grow. Many find currently that the Fed will want to push up inflation policy. Not to me. I took finance and economics. The reason why I guess this is hard for a lot of people to understand is money is actually about being uh, being moderate. If you go too far in any direction, whether too much or too little, it's just just like politics. You're gonna get fucked, and everyone suffers. So that's why you have to find a happy medium. Many five countries here that the Fed will want to push up inflation. Fed Chair where the low Fed leads to declining inflation expectations, which has the effect of diminishing our capacity to stabilize the economy through cutting interest rates. Well, oh, that's interesting. Yeah, because basically everyone's already sick and you still keep giving them medicine, so maybe what you want to do is actually encourage them to just get out there. The flight started inflation of 2% measures the core price of consolidated expenditure interest since 2012. Uh, okay, 2019 Fed line on list sitting tour to see if it could tweak its statement. The other nudging play upward towards target. And that's the conclusion that review had said the FOMC has unanimously approved new land that will allow for inflation moderately above 2% for some time. Five periods where inflation has been running persistently below that target. Strategy is known as flexible average inflation target, in part because the Fed will now use a particular mathematical formula to find a time horizon over which blah 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 blah. Oh, good, so they're just winging it. Yeah, the less they have to control, the better. Of course, if excessive inflation period were to build our inflation expectations, were to ratchet it up, we will not hesitate to act. So they're deliberately going to try to let inflation go up a little more. All right. Powell professed his speech that although the major chain addresses the congressional on price of the Fed will still play the higher priority as other domain of maximum employment. Uh, of employment. Okay, so now they're worried about employment, so that's good. Powell's remarks developed virtually, but to the Fed down Jackson Hole, me and describe the change of the reflection review of a robot Joe Merrick. So, same without the stupid in the. Oh, I thought you were saying about the pandemic, but it means an outbreak of inflation. The FOMC says it'll use its blah, 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 blah. Okay. All right, very good. Uh, so everything's going up because they're going to increase inflation. So today might actually be uh, a very big update. Uh, Coinbase executive details huge uptick in institutional demand for cryptocurrency. Yeah. Wow, this thing research is quick. Um, hold on, let me, uh, let me do this stuff real fast. Right on here, right here, right here. Ah, shit, I screwed this up. Alright, there we go. Uh, Coinbase has seen a huge uptick in institutional clients over the past four weeks, according to a company executive. Coinbase's head of institutional sales, trade, custody, advisor, telling tells think it currently a huge. Okay. Has done 50% of its life to date volume in the past four That is a. Wow, that is insane. So, so in the past month, Coinbase has seen a 50% increase in total volume, like ever si since their inception years ago. That's a crazy amount of money. 
Heiju attributes an influx of few factors, seminal, blah, 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 blah. Okay. General Almighty Recycle at Togomi, a crypto prime broker, filing action gives Coinbase the ability to offer institutional clients smart order routers according to blank. Institutional clients want to be able to get the best part, and so if Bitcoin is trading on 8, 9, 10 different already more than that, they blah, 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 blah. They also says they've seen a variety of new institutional clients entering the industry, including the household names among macro hedge funds, family members for high net and US based university. The other notes that Coinbase has 35 million clients overall, of which thousands are considered institutional. Well, that's the end of the article. I thought there was going to be more. Okay. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Um, pretty good, actually. Hmm. I have to admit. Um, oh, yeah. Probably not a proxy. That's probably why it's not loading correctly. I guess we'll just use it as a thumbnail. All right. So, institutions. So, rich people are dumping all their money into crypto, finally. Uh, they're definitely doing it in a very quiet manner, that's for sure. Uh, as usual, the normies are retarded, so the rich buy when the normies dump, and then the normies buy when the rich dump. Yeah, basically it's buy and sell, and, that, and then everyone wonders why they're rich or poor. So the idea is to just simply buy what the rich are buying when they're buying it, and then sell when they sell. All right? Then, you, and then, of course, they'll probably turn on their fake news terrorist media to, you know, push their, uh, hey, you know, buy Bitcoin. It's already up, you know, 10,000%. And then, you know, the idiots never learn from history and then they just, you know, panic buy it. So, uh, very good. And then now that we know the Fed's going to basically increase, like, more inflation, yeah, this is going to be pretty good. Um, so, all Trump has to do now is win re-election. Because now it looks like um, the mail-in fraud... I mean, it'll still be a problem, but a lot of people are complaining about it. Even Democrats don't like mail, uh, mailing in their ballots. And on top of that, even here in New York City, which is a pretty liberal state, or is under control of shit libs on the far left, uh, you're required to vote in mail unless you've got some sort of medical condition. So, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, what are you going to do? Just, like, just just lie about, you know, this. we have this many disabled people? That's just not going to make sense. Plus, it's New York State. They're going to vote against Trump anyway. So uh, this is good, this is good. Then Trump's, you know, very hard-ass response on the riots, so uh, we'll see how it goes. If you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right-hand side of this page so we can continue growing this channel. All right, so I actually have some stuff to do. I was supposed to take yesterday off, but I decided, you know, I kind of want to do a little work, and I actually wound up working on my game and adding some models, and uh, yeah, went really nice. So, uh, I think today I'll be doing the same thing. Mm. Plus, I want to check to see if I can do Fiverr gigs for marketing for these cryptos, and on top of that, I want to look over Speedcoin. So, Speedcoin's now out, but I would actually re recommend waiting until, you know, uh, the buyers and sellers, like the really crazy hardcore people buy it for really expensive and they just wait for it to, for the price to drop. So you might need to wait like another week or two. Because, um, yeah, because if you do 100 coin, well, yeah, I mean, uh, what you want to call it, you know, it was worth a lot and then now it's worth too little and then now it needs to go back up. So that's kind of annoying. So there's going to be a lot of chaos in the meantime. Uh, but with that being said, I'll be listing on or coin games as soon as I can. Hopefully, um, yeah. And then, uh, what you call it? And then we'll see, we'll see the effect of that. I mean, I do think they don't have as much traffic because they only have an Alexa rank of like three point one million. Uh, but on the other hand, the coins that are doing well. All have I mean, from the older projects. All are listed on or coin games except Rick's. And Rick's has less supply, has better markability. Than two by two, but yet it's worked less consistently than two by two. So the only thing I could actually think of is Orcoin games because it's an actual um, use case. Anyway, this is the thumbnail. So I'll see you all uh, next Tuesday. I've got some work to do. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, enjoy the bull run today. Apparently, yeah. I mean, I'm just gonna I'm not, I'm gonna make the assumption that today is gonna be at least gonna be up like 600 points or whatever. So actually, what's Rebel at? Uh, Rebels at 412. Yeah, I mean, it could do more, but 
This will probably not really start skyrocketing until the uh, lockdowns are lifted and Trump. But that assumes Trump wins re-election. So, uh, well, actually, I guess if Joe Biden wins, then the markets will still go up because the, then the Democrats have to remove the lockdowns. Otherwise, if they kind of continue to do shit, I mean, maybe they could try to do the Trump blame game, but that's just not going to work. Uh, it'll just be too easy to blame the Democrats for that. So, all right. So anyway, uh, yeah. See you Tuesday. Thanks. Johnson Chan, whoop, uh, JFC coin, 100 coin, speed coin, and here's that thumbnail.